everybody, this is Jim at SP500Chart.com. It's about 10 minutes after 4 on February 27th, 2014. And we're going to take a look at the S&P 500 chart after I remind you that the website and this video are for educational purposes only and nothing stated at the site or in the video is intended to be used as investment advice. I can draw lines on charts, but you have to draw your own conclusions from your own research and make investment decisions that are suitable for your personal financial situation. I'm not a licensed financial professional. I'm just a guy who draws lines on charts. So let's take a look. Well, here is a 30-minute chart of the S&P. And again, I'll just uh, to remind you, we're looking at this potential of, uh, of what I'm now calling a truncated inverted head and shoulders pattern, where this would be the left shoulder, this would be the head, this little thing here would be the right shoulder. And I guess the good news is this, um, today we closed uh, over the neckline, which is this purple line right here. We also closed at a new uh, all-time high for the S&P. And uh, you remember I, I drew this little line here and I said if we get over this line, then that might be kind of like the first signal that we're firming up and we're going we're gonna to get up and and really break out of this thing. Still not in breakout territory yet. I'm not really going to consider this being um, a breakout until we close over 1860. But it's looking pretty good so far. We got over this line, back tested it um, late yesterday, early today, then we firmed up. We also got over uh, the line that could be drawn over this peak and this peak, back tested it, and then started to move on up. Let's go to this little peak right here. Got over that, back tested it, started to move on up. You kind of get the picture. I'm not saying that that's a guarantee that you can always do that, but sometimes you can. So uh, right now, you know, I'm going to make this really short and sweet. I'm waiting for that close over 1860. Um, if we get that, then I believe we should be looking at a significant move here but that should get into the 1900s. As strange as that sounds, that's where it should take us. So guys, that's it. I'm going to make it short and sweet for today. There's your video for... Uh, uh, well, I tell you what, let me let me just throw out one more thing, just in case you're concerned here about, whoa, 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 Jim, slow down. What happens if, okay, by the way, we bounced on this line here too, okay? So if, if this line were to break, and if we were to come back down through that neckline, then the same support lines exist down in the low 1800s, about 40 points or so, 45, 40 points uh, underneath where we are right now. But uh, right now, I take this as a good sign. So let's just l leave it at that, see if we get a little bit more steam on this tomorrow. And uh, because this is looking, I think it's looking f fairly good right now. So I don't want to jinx it. But I'm still looking for a close over 1860. And I think that for me would, would kind of seal the outlook. So guys, there's your video this time for real. I want to thank you for taking time out of your day to watch this and, uh, and for your kind support. Take care.